Today on Suburban Sill, we're going to talk about carnivorous plants. Now, I know that carnivorous plants can be somewhat intimidating, but they really shouldn't be. And here's why. They're pretty simple when you get right down to it. I've had a few carnivorous plants. My biggest problem with them is keeping them moist. They need to be wet pretty much all the time. So since they're used to being in bogs and, oh goodness, um, marshes, they, oh, come out. It's kind of hard to mimic that habitat indoors. And that's what they like. How are they in there? I'm gonna have to cut that off of them this little plastic container. So where was I? Bogs and marshes are hard to recreate indoors. So one way to do that is by keeping them in a container filled with water. Look at that. That's a pretty good specimen for just coming out of that plastic container there. So in today's video, I just wanna share some super simple care tips. First tip, you're gonna to wanna to set your Venus flytrap in water. I'm gonna use this little dish. I'm hoping that the enclosed area will kind of help it um, stay moist. You have got to use distilled water or rain water, mineral free water. Do not use bottled drinking water. Um, it's got too much, too much minerals. You're always gonna water from below. So there you have it. So now I'm just gonna place this in a nice sunny location. Um, they need lots of sun, um, especially if you're dealing with like a sundew or another carnivorous plant that needs that sun in order to create that gooey dew. Um, I've got a couple other posts about carnivorous plants on my blog and I'll share a link below. Um, but that's kind of the simple care tips for the carnivorous plants. Another really important thing is that you're going to want to um, use a soil mix that is also um, free of any type of nutrients. So a peat, sphagnum moss, and sand is a good mix. Um, you can buy some great carnivorous plant mixes online. I would recommend doing that as well. So let's see if we can't catch some bugs.